All right. Uh, we're gonna find the source of the Missouri River. And we're gonna pee in it. And we're gonna pee in it. Yeah. Take that, EPA. We have Onyx done some research on this. We might find it, we might not, but we're gonna have fun. Hopefully nobody gets hurt, like bears. You got your, you got your bear spray? No, I got something better. I'm gonna put one right in its neck. That's not, yeah, what? yeah. Self-defense, of course. Oh yeah. Right. I'm not just gonna go shoot a bear. That'd be no. That'd, that'd be, be stupid. That would be stupid. <laughs> Only in self-defense. But uh, yeah, we do have bear spray too. I just have to find it. Uh, but yep, that's what we're gonna do. What are you doing? Shut your face! I'm filming. Oh. Trying to make millions here. Thank you. Get a really good shot here, okay? The Grand Teton Mountains, right over there. try this thing Sawtell Peak Trail where the heck's the trail at I think it's this one <laughs> it was... oh no got the Grand Tetons I believe about south by southeast of us I estimate probably 60 miles away there and then over here this whole, the dark trees in the foreground, that is the backside of the Yellowstone Plateau. So in the far distance, way beyond that, you can see the Absaroka Mountains on the far side of Yellowstone. So there we have it. Mint Dwight? Mint Dwight? Mint Dwight? Archaeologists, eventually, you got to get out of the library. <laughs> wow. Woo! That's Henry's Lake down there. Reynolds Pass is up there. On the other side of that is uh, the headwaters, some of the headwaters of the Missouri. And this is the headwaters of uh, Henry's Fork, which feeds the snake, which feeds into the Columbia, and that therefore goes to the Pacific. Question, what kind of bear is best? That's a ridiculous question. False, black bear. That's the Continental Divide over there. That's Montana. And it loops back around like this. The bowl is in there. I don't know why my stupid camera keeps auto-focusing. But we're going, kind of traversing 
the side of this ridge, headed up to where it tees into the Continental Divide. And then we'll formulate a plan to get down into the bowl and locate, at this point in the year, probably the remnants of, uh, probably the dried up remnants of Brower Spring, but maybe we'll be pleasantly surprised. We're on the Continental Divide Ridge. I don't think it took us more than an hour if we would have talked less, which... You don't want to waste that expensive bear spray or any 45 shells. Not to mention like the red tape that would be involved if anybody ever found out on our YouTube channel. Um, shooting the bear and so right so that's why um yeah anyway so here we are cardinal divide <laughs> <laughs> and now we i mean it looks to me like if i just peed down this ridge it would go to the pacific now i mean don't you think just dried up well yeah but exactly. right so that's why we need to find it that's why we need to find it if we go down in there, we know we've got to come back up this way. So we determined once we got on the Continental Divide and maybe 100 mile or 100 yards further to the west, we're descending now into the bowl. I know it's going to be several hundred feet of drop, which we will have to make back up. But we just know if we don't locate what we want, we've got to come back up to the uh, northwest or no the northeast or the east and we'll hit the continental divide again which we have our onyx um mapping you know gps app or whatever that'll help until we get under yep. below this ridge anyway off trail now we'll see how this goes so we think it's the meadow there. That's where we're placing our bets, but it's somewhere in this bowl. So we made it to the meadow. Now we just gotta find that cairn. See the little spot where the spring supposedly starts. When we would finally hear. What's that? Hopefully, the bear would get before we would hear it, you know? <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't come to that. Well, yeah. But I hope it's not a case of they see us or hear. Well, we know it'll be here. Right. Uh, hopefully, we see them from across the uh, gulch or something like that, 400 yards away. Hey, what's that look like? That's a cairn. Um... This is the cairn. Came right down. Well, I think it's below this, but animals and people have been here. That's it right there. <laughs> we found the source of the Missouri. You can trace it back on Google Earth. We did it. We did it. Iowa Farm Bros did it! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Hey, bear! Yeah, we're probably going to have to go around, but yep, nope, this is it. This is absolutely it. Normally, this is filled up. See where the water runs over there in the snow melt. Okay. What are you doing? I'm I'm trying to pee, so <laughs> why is that sitting there? In the Missouri River. Oh no. we are i am standing astride the source of the missouri river mm -hmm.
On August 12, 1805, Meriwether Lewis wrote when they were crossing the Continental Divide at Lemhi Pass, McNeil had exultingly stood with a foot on each side of this little rivulet and thanked his God that he had lived to bestride the mighty and heretofore deemed endless Missouri. Boom. Ain't that wonderful? So we're maybe 150 yards above it now. We're just following the gulch up straight east, roughly, to the Continental Divide. That's our easiest way to get back on trail. We don't have to go um, straight up the way we came down. So once we get on the east side of the divide, we will traverse the ridge to our left, just a little below it, till we, till we meet up with the Continental Divide, or no, to the Sawtell Peak Trail, which we had been on to get here back up on the divide I think it's been maybe five minutes since the last video I want to say that was like the like the toughest ascent I've ever done ever about passed out about passed out not yeah no that was pretty easy hopefully this video can can be used to help you guys that would like to go to this spot as a good educational source all right, so we started here on Sawtell Peak Road, which is also Forest Road 20024. The Red Heart is where we started, and you can see the trail through these trees. It is on all trails. It's even on Google. At any rate, you get over here to the Continental Divide, which you can kind of see is a white dotted line in between the state of Idaho and Montana. That is your high point there. You then descend in this fashion into the bowl. Google has Brower Spring marked, but it's in the middle of this meadow, which is right above it to the east. This little clump of trees directly in the, the next to this arrow here is where um, the cairn is but I have marked with the yellow um, point is where the springs actually are um, and you can see the uh, coordinates right there so and, and then we hiked back up through this gulch kind of the north to the north by northeast, or no, east to northeast, east by northeast, up to the Continental Divide, and then retraced it back up till we hit our trail again, and then that's the way we went back out. 31 minutes have elapsed since we were at the springs. There was at least one false um, false peak along the uh, Continental Divide. But here we are on the trail again, headed east, parting with the Continental Divide again, but going back to our vehicle. So, like I said, I'll provide all the info I need so that others can do it. Here we go. We made it back. Get back in the vehicle. What time is it? Seven. Seven. Took us approximately three hours. Didn't have to shoot any bears. Didn't have to shoot any bears. Didn't have any problems with uh, off-trail hiking at all. Mm -hmm. That's a wrap. <laughs>